Art is all around you, especially in Snow Hill. You know, we just met Nancy Ellen Thompson, who is not only creating her own art, but she's fostering new artists. And that seems to be a common theme in this Worcester County town. WBOC's Heidi Warosta visited another art studio, the Regal Beast on Washington Street, to see how other local artists are showing off their creativity. Ellen Tolliver bought this nearly 100-year-old building back in 2005. It wasn't always an art studio, but now it is. And it's a place where the community can grow in the arts. I want to fill this place with young people and old people who just want to get their hands into clay. And I have a particular philosophy, which is not traditional. I am a, a proponent of quantum biology, and I want people to understand the organics of clay. She means that she wants you to become one with the clay. Ellen claims it makes using the wheel easier. The clay is nothing but uh, packaging of electrons and protons just like you. And when she sits down on the wheel herself, it's all about being in the moment. Sometimes I start with a, a wheel thrown piece and then I'll have some kind of a form that I'll lay that on and then begin building and carving and, and maturing and just doing all the things that that the clay tells me to do. I have no idea what I'm going to do when I start. Almost everything that's in the studio is for sale, but it's really all about the community, especially because her studio doesn't just feature her artwork. The Regal Beast is a co-op art studio. It gives another artist the ability to come in and work. Someone comes in, I say I can let you use a prescribed area, but the way we do it is we have a lot of common areas. A space to get away for all hours of the day. It gives people an outlet from their routine, their home. As of now, there are six different cooperative people who work here. It can be anything of the arts. Some of her co-ops do weaving, painting, and glass work. So now we're in the studio and we're doing some fused glass. And the expert here is Don Cheeseman. So what exactly is uh, the glass here? Well, thanks for calling me an expert. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, glass is generally broken into three different categories. One is cold glass, which is just regular stain, leaded stained glass. One is warm glass, which is what I do. Right. And what I do is I fuse the glass together on a, on a sheet of uh, glass of some kind and uh, heat it up to around 1,700 degrees. Uh, and it, all the glass combines into a single piece. Show me a little bit What here. we're doing is we're working, we're going to make a platter, a uh, 12 inch square platter, and we're using a variety of mosaic pieces. Well, let's finish our, at least our basic pattern here. Okay. So and let's line it up. crooked? Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll even it out once it's, once everything is yeah. in place. It doesn't have to be perfect now, right? Right. We're laying that down in the pattern that we choose. Right. Uh, and when, once we cook it, it will fuse into itself. Mm -hmm. All the little lines and cracks that you see will more or less disappear. That's all once more pieces of glass were cut and once the plate was placed in the kiln. And the finished product became this beautiful platter. Don is just one of the co-ops and he has his area that he uses to express the art in him. And that's exactly what Ellen wants. When you walk in, you feel signs of life. If it was just a clay studio, the dust would be this thick and it would be very boring. It really would. So I like the fact that he's doing glass in the next room and that she's doing calligraphy and she does uh, window painting, but it gives everybody a home base to work out of. They are always welcoming more artists as they will make room for you to join. I'd like it to nourish the community and nourish the, whole, the heart and the soul of the people who are here. It's about letting the light shine through the art that you design. And not all of the co-ops teach classes, but Ellen does, and it's oftentimes a one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one session. Don will also teach if you want to learn about glass fusion. And by the way, the name The Regal Beast comes from the horse logo that she uses, and the horse became known as The Regal Beast. And that piece that Heidi was working on, here it is. Isn't that pretty? It is. It's gorgeous. See, anybody can become an artist. Love the way that turned out. I that do, too. Nice.